hello again guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see <laughs> we're on another road trip um yeah <laughs> today we are heading to wales um it's been on my list for a while and today we are finally doing it i think what's encouraged me to um come here was Iceland. I have always wanted to climb Mount Snowdon and yeah, I'm gonna give it a go today. So we've just stopped at the surfaces for a bite to eat and we're gonna continue with our journey now. And as always, you're all coming along with us. So it was a very early morning start. We woke up at three and left just after half past. And we've been driving for about three hours, so just about three hours. Um, so we've got a couple of hours left to go. Um, I've never been to Wales, so I'm really, really excited to see what it's like and um, see what Snowden looks like too. So guys, we are nearly at Snowdon, and I don't know how I'm feeling about it, to be honest. So we're gonna climb it, and we're gonna take you all to the top, hopefully. <laughs> Look at the views. Look at the views. I said to Ash that in a way, it's similar to Iceland around here with the mountains and the lack of trees and the winding roads um, and stunning views. It is so similar and yeah, it's bringing back great memories already. So yeah, I feel a little bit daunted with this. Um, but excited, nervous, stressed, all of it. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna actually enter the car park now, so I'll catch you in a bit. So you can pre-book your parking, which is what we've done. Um, how much was it, Ash? 20 pound for the day. Oh, 20 pound for the day, so not too much, um, but yeah. This car park, you have to pre-book now. Oh, okay, you have to pre-book this car park, but loads of space, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's go. So the old faithfuls are back out <laughs> and I'm just doubling, well, tripling up on the socks. It is honestly freezing here, guys. Um, 
I'd say it's colder than Iceland <laughs> and that's saying a lot so yeah gonna get warm and head up <sighs> are you ready let's go Here we are guys, right at the very beginning. When I made the decision to come and climb Mount Snowdon, I honestly had no idea about what I was gonna endure. I mean, you've seen our Iceland vlogs, and at times there were difficult treks, but nothing could prepare me for this Saturday morning in March. Like most, I naively expected smooth paths with cobbles dotted around here and there. <laughs> Boy was I wrong. This was an emotional endurance test for me that has completely changed my outlook on life. As we trekked higher and higher, I turned to Ash and asked, are we nearly there? Not even close, was his reply. My stomach tied itself in knots. For those that know me, know I have a huge fear of heights and slipping. This mountain climb had risks of both. Mount Snowdon was nothing like the theme park rides I've been on over the years. Mother Nature was in charge and there was no seatbelt to keep me secure. I was in charge and that's not something I'm often comfortable with in life. This mountain holds its beautiful secrets up high, secrets that only those who work hard for can find. Step by step, rock by rock, we were heading closer into the clouds. I remember feeling lost, curious, excited and nervous about what was ahead. There was a particular point in our journey where I looked to the side of me on a narrow stairway covered in rock and my legs turned to jelly. What if I fall, I thought. Who's gonna catch me, I said to myself. The more I thought about it, the more the nerves kicked in. I then tripped and fell onto my wrists. Ouch. <laughs> Startled, I got up from my knees and brushed myself off. I'm not sure I can carry on, my mind told me. But at the same time, I'd made a promise. A promise to Ash and a promise to myself. Ash has always been my pusher. He's always encouraged me to work harder and achieve my goals, even when I felt I couldn't. But before, I'd let my fears take over and give up. Since turning 30, things had to be different. My promise to myself was to live life to the fullest, conquering fears and throwing myself out of my comfort zone. And 
wow, was I doing it in full force on this Wales trip. I kept trying to distract myself. Don't let Ash down. He believed in you, so you must carry on. As the rocks got steeper and the steps got narrower and the ground got icier, I had to take a breather. I sat myself down on the side of the mountain and looked out on the beautiful view. I felt safe sat down. I was suddenly back in control. I may not have wanted to disappoint Ash by turning back, but most of all, I decided I didn't want to disappoint myself. We've come all this way after all. Prove to yourself you can do it, I told myself. Believe in yourself, even if others haven't, I thought. I took multiple gulps of Lucozade and took a massive bite of an energy bar and continued my way to the top. Nothing was going to defeat me, not even a mountain Snowden size. 3,560 feet to be precise. Yikes. <laughs> Just do it, Jack. You can do it. Close your eyes. No, wait. Don't close your eyes. That is not a good idea, I laughed to myself. The wind started to pick up and we couldn't even hear each other, so the only person I could talk to was myself after all. Even though at times I was too scared to even hear myself think. Higher and higher we went until suddenly I could see the top. The weather dramatically changed and the air turned bitter. The stunning views we had experienced on our way up disappeared behind thick fog. Clouds and wind I've never felt before. Ice covered the ground in front of me and my heart was beating faster and faster and faster and faster. Panic had set in again, worse than I've felt in a long time. I stood still, my head in my hands. My legs would move even if I wanted them to. Ash told me to breathe, deep 
and slow in and out. It was working. We proceeded to move forward, step by step, slowly but surely. I remember just looking at the ground in front of me and silently crying. I'm so scared, I was saying to myself. I can't do this. I know I can't. What if I fall? I'm going to turn back. Then suddenly, I did it. I did it. Trust me, guys. I'm as surprised as you all are. As I started to make my descent down, I was feeling all kinds of emotions. Relief, proudness, happiness, and sadness that the journey was done. Exhaustion and utter disbelief that I had actually done this. Yes, me, Jack, the Jack that did anything he could to get out of a PE lesson at age 13 because he was worried what others might think of him. That same boy has just climbed Mount Snowdon right to the tip at the top. Was this a dream that I was going to wake up from and continue to dream about doing in my everyday life or had I actually just completed this mountain climb and was about to tick it off that bucket list I'd created in my early teens. It felt like a dream, but somehow different. It was reality, my reality. And if I wasn't so emotionally and physically exhausted, I would be smiling from ear to ear. Trust me. One thing I'd learned on this trek was that we never conquer our fears completely. I mean, I thought my fear of heights had disappeared when I climbed the Great Pyramids of Giza in September 2023, or again in February this year when we visited Iceland, but nope. <laughs> the fears we have stay with us throughout our entire life. We just find new ways of fighting through and pushing on. As we continue to push ourselves, we feel stronger inside and out. We gain self-belief, and that, guys, is the most important thing. My mountain climb took me just around five hours that day. Eight miles were walked, and a thousand tears were shed. This trip wasn't about the fastest time up or the quickest route down. It was about feeling alive, feeling every single emotion in my body and enjoying my experience even through the difficult moments. So my final words to you guys is, if I can do it, you can do it. It's never too late to throw yourself out of your comfort zone and into something completely new. And I learned that that day.
Guys, we did it, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been on my bucket list for a long, long time now. And since turning 30, um, like a couple of years ago, I've wanted to finally start that list. Ticking it off um, place by place. And Mount Snowden is now one of them. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was hard. That was really, really hard. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, yeah, it was all kinds of things. It was amazing, it was so special, it was petrifying, it was knackering, it was emotional. But yeah, so glad I did it. Um, yeah, it's an achievement. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> She's struggling as well. Please. <laughs> I know. But yeah, it's done. And we are now on to the next little adventure uh, for this weekend. We are now taking a drive to Liverpool. <laughs> I know. Um, it's our friend's wedding day. So we're going to the evening tonight. Um, so we're going to get something to eat and then, yeah, head there. Um, you would have seen actually they were in our Egypt vlogs a couple of years ago so yeah it'll be nice to see them and celebrate their special day Well guys, that concludes today's vlog. I hope you've had a lovely time watching it. Um, it's been tiring for us. <laughs> really, really tiring, but what an experience. And do you know what? One thing it made me realize today is I always thought you could conquer your fears and actually you can't, but you can give it a good go and fight your way through it. <laughs> It has been amazing and we are just about to head to our friend's wedding and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So cheers to them. <laughs> so guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and happy Easter to you all. Um, yeah, as always, stay happy, stay positive. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care guys. <laughs>